Welcome to Vancouver, a city in a British Columbia, Canada. Vancouver, a bustling west coast seaport in British Columbia, is among the Canada's densest, most ethically diverse city. A popular filming location, it's surrounded by mountains and also has thriving art, theater, and a music scene. Most of us agreed that Vancouver is one of the most beautiful cities in the world, with a stunning sitting between the North Shore Mountains and the beautiful Pacific Ocean. Today, we want to give you some facts about Vancouver that go beyond just general knowledge. So let's learn a little more about our beautiful city, Vancouver. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ken from Travel the World with Dorothy. If you are new from my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell so that you will be notified if I uploaded my new travel experience. Enjoy watching Ken from Travel the World with Dorothy. We stay at this Fairmont Pacific Rim Hotel for two nights before we start our Alaska travel. I'll show you our fantastic rooms and some touch of the hotels. We choose this hotel because it's a walking distance only to the harbor where our next destination starts. To know also what British Columbia can offer us for two days. The British properties in West Vancouver was originally a neighborhood for the upper class elites. Residents were required to have a British passport and included the non white and Jewish people. Fortunately, it has become much more diverse these days. The port of Vancouver is the largest port in Canada and the third largest in the North America in terms of total tonnage moved in and out of the port. Did you know that Vancouver is also called Hollywood of the North? In the North America, the cities come around after Los Angeles is the TV production and the third in pictures films production. After Los Angeles and New York, most productions made in Vancouver are American, where our most Toronto-based productions are Canadians. Vancouver has the highest real estate prices in Canada and is the third less affordable major metropolitan real estate market after Hong Kong and Sydney, Australia. The region has long been inhabited by several Native American, First Nation, peoples in a trading post. Fort Langley was set up by the Hudson's Bay Bay Company in 1827, near the mount of the Fraser River. Beside the Scottish, who were very influential in the Vancouver's early years, America had a notable impact on the city. The suggestion to the name it Vancouver was made by an American William Van Carney, president of the Canadian Pacific Railway. Moreover, the first important industry in the area, a sawmill on the Borad Inlet, was owned by the American. Finally, the first major industry not reliant on a local natural resources, a still active sugar refinery was started by an American. The Gastown Steam Plant in the historic Gastown section of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. 
Vancouver, the oldest neighborhood gas town, grew from a single tavern founded by the John Dassey Jack Delton back in 1867. Today, the district retains its historic charm and independent spirit. Victorian architecture's houses and thriving fashion scenes, impeccable curated decor boutiques, one of a kind galleries, and some of the best culinary fare in Vancouver. It's a gathering place for the stylish locals and an ideal neighborhood to explore on foot. Gastown lies along the north of the downtown Vancouver Peninsula, from Richards S to the Main Street and the south of the Hastings Street. Lively Gastown is known for its whistling steam clock and mix of souvenir shops, indie art galleries, and decor stores in Victorian buildings. A trendy food and drink sense includes this Czech cocktail lounge and restaurant serving everything from gourmet sandwiches to the local seafoods. Keep entries also got in the neighborhood downtown, East Side area while the up and coming rail town district is home to the edge of the fashion street. Vancouver has recently been named the third most livable city in the world after Melbourne and Vienna. The index considers 30 factors related to safety, healthcare, educational resources, infrastructure, and the environment. British Columbia Place was the first covered stadium in Canada. The retractable roof is 750 square meters and it is the largest in the world. A working steam clock, one of the only a few in the world, located in the Vancouver's Victoria Gas Town. Underneath Vancouver, Canada, there runs a series of steam pipes connected to a generating plants at Georgia and Beatty Streets. The system provides heat of the most of the downtown core and provides the steam for the whistles of the gas town steam clock. <laughs> Saying the clock is steam powered is a bit of a misnomer as the clockwork itself is powered by descending winds, the mini steam engine at the base of the clock case takes up the rule of the human window by the rising a series of balls weight and delivering the weight to the clock drive train. But the steam engine is connected by a rubber belt to an electric motor hiding from a view much more reliable than the steam power. Every quarter hour, the two-ton steam clock shows up a bit, whistling and shuffling steam from its five whistle. It is the version of the Westminster shim. On the hour, it marks each hour with a tooth from each whistle. It is a colorful alley to say the least covered in soap, 
pinks and vibrant yellows. This is uh, even a mini basketball court, hence its alias Ali Oops. The city of Vancouver transformed a once unremarkable alley into its current form back in September 2016, and it has since become a staple photo shoot spot for a public art interests, every locals and tourists. It is living proof of what public art can do, turning a place that nobody thinks about into a place everyone to see. Vancouver's cruise ship terminal is the fourth largest in the world. Most of the ships departing from the terminal are headed to Alaska. The last cruise of 2016 season will leave the Canada Place Terminal on October 19. Toting Falls, one of the most popular images of Stanley Park in that of the nine towering Toting Falls. Most were purchased in the 1920s and 30s from a various locations in a British Columbia and were moved to their current spot in the Brookton Point in 1962. Since then, many have been replaced by replicas while the original were sent to the museum for their preservation. The oldest one dates back to the 1880s. The most recent edition was added in 2009 and was curbed by a member of the Squamish Nation whose mother was born in Stanley Park. Highly symbolic, two temples were originally designed to communicate and commemorate important people or events through the use of animals and other figures. The vertical ordering of the carving represents a hierarchy with the most important figures on the top. Hence, the commonplace praises low man on the totem pole. Also nearby, you'll find a red and white striped lighthouse which has stood at the Brockton Point since 1940. Lions Gate Bridge connecting Stanley Park with the North Vancouver across the Borad Inlet. This still colored suspicion bridge first opened in 1938, one year after the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. Constructions of this 1.1 mile long bridge provided employment during the Depression era, and the Guinness Growing Family was significant financially backer of this project. Why is the Leon Gate Bridge famous? The bridge is famous for its use of innovative engineering. It is also known for its length since it was the longest suspicion bridge to have existed in the British Empire after its construction. The cable views were prefabricated, thus greatly shortening the time to lay them. Its reconstruction was also exceptional as it marked the first time a whole suspicion bridge had been replaced without interfering with a trap. Explore the 400 hectares natural risk coast rainforest and enjoy the scenic view of a water mountain sky and the majestic trees around Stanley Park, famous seawall, discovering kilometers of trails, beautiful beaches, local wildlife, great eats, natural cultures, and historical landmark. You may not know this is culture by the name, but chances are you seen it. Amazing laughter consists of 14 enormous bronze statues in all different poses of a short-lit guys laughing hysterically. First installed in 2009 as a part of the Vancouver Biennale, Amazing Laughter has quickly become the city's most recognizable piece of outdoor arts. Traveling around the world is an art, especially meeting people. I would love to extend my heartfelt thank you to this beautiful sister of the other mother, Ate Florida Torlao Bernales, and the family who give time to meet us, to show and to give us a big hand to witness the beauty of Stanley Park. Again, thank you so much.
the Vancouver Convention Center is the convention center in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is the one of the Canada's largest convention centers with the opening of the new West Building in 2009. And it now has 43,340 square meters of a meeting space. This is the opportunity to give you back to say thank you for these amazing people with a big heart. By joining our travel experience, many people have received small things and you will be also a part of their smile. I want only to share you all who have sharing their time watching and visiting my channel, hoping that we are all together building a platform to help one another. Again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. I'm Kim from Travel the World with Torque. Thank you for your love and support to my channel. Feel free to leave your comment on what did you saw or any feedbacks that will help my channel to improve in the future. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell so that you will be notified if I uploaded a new travel experience. Stay safe and take care.